Yo guys, what's up? Scammer Vaults here, and today I wanted to make a video on honestly one of the most annoying things that I find about Windows 10. If there's, if you ask me, what's the most annoying thing about Windows 10? Is Windows Defender. Now, uh, for most people that don't really, I guess, know about computers, Windows Defender is a really good thing to have uh, for viruses and stuff. For, but for people who do and usually have a preferred program for for a VAST or uh, Norton or something, you're gonna install. You know, after you get your system when you're setting everything up, Windows Defender is, it's just one of the most annoying things to deal with. It, it's, it's just really bad. I get so many false positives with Windows Defender and everything, and I get so many notifications that will usually come up in my, in the Action Center all the time, throughout the whole day, and it's just annoying always getting these notifications over and over again. So, today I'm going to make a video and I'm going to show you guys how to disable this. Uh, it's pretty simple if you're not too good with computers it shouldn't be that hard to get into it uh, you just basically just do exactly what I do and you'll be good so yeah this is pretty much gonna permanently def uh, get rid of it I'm not sure if because uh, you know a lot of things when you update Windows usually they turn stuff back on like uh, in the creators update when they brought back Cortana I had to go through the registry just to get rid of Cortana so yeah, uh, I'm, this is permanent unless uh, Microsoft decides to make an update to turn it back on, which would be completely annoying. So what you're going to do is is you're going to go to the start menu and you, you could either just type in run or you could press uh, Windows and R at the same time and it'll bring up run and once you go on to run, uh, you're just going to go to gpedit.msc, so gp like that. And you're just going to press enter. It might take a minute to open. Just depends on your computer. There you go. Oh, still. Okay, there it is. Now that it's open, you know, uh, bring this up here. If it's taking forever to open, it's it really depends on your computer. I don't know why, but stuff like this on uh, Windows, it just it takes forever. Um, so let me bring this over here. So you guys see. So we're going to be going here under all this stuff. So you're going to go to computer configuration down here and then you're going to go to the subcategories and you're going to go to administrative templates and then down here let's go to windows components then you have to scroll through here and find windows defender so if you just go down to w's and then d right here and you just click on it to bring open all this stuff actually let me make this full screen for you guys so now we have windows defender open you're just going to click on it and now you have, you have this other menu over here so if it isn't showing up just make it full screen or slide it over a little bit and you can see turn off Windows Defender so you're going to click this edit and you're going to click enable now it's kind of confusing because you're enabling something when you want it off so yeah but it's the option like turn off Windows Defender and you're going to get enabled and then close that. Now Windows Defender will still show up and everything right now so you're gonna have to uh, restart your computer and then everything should be good. So let me actually see if I can open up uh, Windows Defender. There. You, oh well there you go you don't even have to restart it but if you still have the icon and stuff which I don't even think I have okay if you still have the icon and stuff though uh, just restart or if it's not showing this yet just restart it should show this but yeah just restart and then this will be all good and every time after that it will always be disabled until you go through there and turn it on or Microsoft is stupid and you know they decide to turn it off for you yeah other than that hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys want any more tutorials like this leave it in the comments below I'll see you guys next time peace